So now we had the same thing. We had this data from US, we had data from India. We could use topic modeling to learn sort of all the values that are expressed in these two countries. But the question that we wanted to see is to what extent one value was represented more often in one country versus the other. So for this, we looked at topic distributions. Um, given a certain topic, like I showed you, for instance, the topic of family, where you might have words like sister, brother, mother, husband, and so forth. We can look for every single document in our data. We can look at um, representations. We can look, sorry, we can look for every single document. We can look how many of the words belonging to a topic appear in this particular document. Like say, for instance, if I make a statement about my own values, I could see how many of the words I use in my statement would include family words. And I would do then the same for the other topics so that eventually at the end for my statement of values, I would have a distribution of topics. So I will know say family, there is 15%, respect for others, there is 5%, uh, maybe achievement would be another 5% and so forth. And then we can put them all together, which is this uh, final score. So if we put them all together, all people belonging to one group, then we can get a certain distribution um, over that particular um, over that particular group. So we will know for a given topic, um, how often is uh, representing that group. Now, the issue that we faced early on was that it seemed like certain values more and more often mentioned in India and other values more often mentioned in US, but it wasn't necessarily clear that we had the same gender distribution so that we control for gender or that we had the same age distribution. And so in order to address that part, we had this score. So for every statement in our data, for every value statement, uh, we had a score for each topic. Like say for my own statement, I would have the score for how reflective is of family topic. And then I would also have some um, meta features. I would know that I'm female, I'm from US, um, I would have um, my age in a certain beam. So we had the age being into 10 year intervals. And so this would allow me to characterize my statement with respect to other demographics, not only the country, but also other demographics that might influence um, the kind of values that I would have. And so with that, um, we run a regression. So this is basically a regression that will allow, allow us to identify what is the role played by culture and similarly, the Lord play by gender or age with respect to each topic, right? So if we have the topic of family, we will know which of these different variables that I'm considering culture, gender, age would play um, a stronger role. So this going back to the values that I showed you earlier. So we had respect for other religion, family, hard work and so forth. Now we can characterize this with respect to their distribution for these three factors that we are considering. So there is country, um, gender, and age. And the way you would read this is looking, so to, toward the left, it's USA. So this would be USA uh, for the red bars, toward the, the right would be India. Yellow bars means gender, left is male, right is female. And then the black bars is age, right, uh, left, sorry, left is young, right is older. Okay, so one example, for instance, if we take uh, for country, it turns out that hard work, it's a strong value uh, for US. Um, instead, for instance, if we take uh, something like problem solving, so problem solving, it's a value that's very um, strongly dominating the responses from India. So we see a much higher bar toward the right on the country place. Um, here we see, for instance, for family, uh, for the yellow bar, so toward the right is a female. So female will more often mention family as a value. Um, we'll also see here um, honesty also being mentioned more, more often. 